we were all just really kids, 19, 20, 21 years of age. And they used to watch the planes go out in the morning and then count them uh, as they came back in the afternoon to see if some or how many were missing. Uh, after the war, they erected this uh, very uh, lovely memorial to the 91st Bomb Group Airmen. And they keep it up beautifully. You'll notice the flowers around it are, are magnificent. They always mourn the ones who didn't uh, come back from the missions. It was a very rainy day, and there were hundreds of people from Royston who came out uh, to honor us on our return on our 50th anniversary. This is the city band, and we were very complimented that they would come out on such a rainy day to play for this uh, presentation and wreath laying. Missing in action during the Second World War, our friends from America who are commemorated here at this war memorial. During the service, we're going to rededicate parts of the squadron memorial here. And we're going to hear thoughts from the men. Determination into deep. That as men died for peace, we may live for peace for the sake of the Prince of Peace, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this gift to offer, the fruit of the skills you have given us. Accept it and ask to further your sons to turn in action from 1942 to 1945. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look how young those boys were. They were about our age when we were over there. This is the president of the 91st Bomb Group Memorial Association laying a wreath to the fallen airmen.
this is the mayor of Royston laying a wreath to the fallen airmen. This is a member of the British Legion, which is similar to the American Legion, playing a wreath to the fallen 91st Bomb Group Airmen. Lord God, bless the world and give it your peace. Where there is hatred, give love. Where there is injury, give pardon. Where there is doubt, give faith. Where there is despair, give hope. Where there is darkness, give light. Where there is sadness, give joy. And help us to bring these gifts of yours to others. In the name of Jesus Christ, the true love of peace, especially in those who direct the nations of the earth. May your Holy Spirit... The coming of the Lord, he is happy and the I was not only taking this picture, but you notice I'm singing. Thank you. 
The United States and the, the English are an unbeatable This is the 324. There's the bunny rabbit. Okay. The best looking guys in the group. by saying, ladies and gentlemen, but that does seem a little cold and formal. Then it came to me, dear friends, because that's what it's called La Lune, and it's situated to the southwest of Paris, near Chartres. On a Saturday, the mayor of La Lune took my wife Rosemary and myself to Chartres. It was a lovely sunny day. And after we had admired the magnificent cathedral with its truly amazing stained glass windows, we wandered into the old town. It was beautiful, full of narrow streets and courtyards. At one point, we came to the old city wall and what was left of one of the old city gates. A plaque on the wall said that the city gates had been destroyed in an air raid in 1944. Our host said, that as a boy, he could remember the original gates. I asked him why the gates had not been rebuilt. <coughs> he merely pointed to the street name. It was a small blue sign that read, Rue de Juive, Jews Road. Those ruined gates were a memorial to them and others who had lost their lives. That is why the war was fought. That is why you were welcome in Royston 50 years ago. That is why you are welcome in Royston now. That is why you will always be welcome in Royston. You are part of Royston. Dear friends, I ask you to drink a toast with me to the 91st Bomb Group, our guests. Shire District Council and Town People of Royston, our sincere appreciation and gratitude for the 50th anniversary celebration of Anglo-American Friendship, 1942 to 9th of May, 1942. Peter. This is Charles Hart back again, giving the mayor the award. Another note of interest that has came to me in the last few days is, you remember? No, you don't remember. But uh, history tells us that in 1812, a British regiment burned our White House. <laughs> we have a man in the audience today who now belongs to that regiment, but I think that after what he did for us yesterday, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, what he is doing.
Supreme Court out at Massing Corn can very that we should thank you, pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> the regiment uh, that uh, burned our White House back in 1812. Now, in the evening, the British Legion put on a wonderful dance for us. Here's Johnny and Tony dancing to the big band sound. We were very honored that uh, the British Legion put on this beautiful dance for us. dinner dance.